Is it all good YouTube? It is mate! And welcome to Grey Wolf Fitness. Now we're going to have a quick way and see how this carb back loading is working. Got to go for the diet now, getting used to it. It's not so bad at all, so let's have a look. Now I was 221 a couple of weeks ago. Buzzing on that babe. 219.8, about two pound. No. Uh, yeah, two pound. You said you were 221. It's 219.8. 8. 8. No, it's just all, it's, it's, it's 1.2 pound, let's be exact. Mm. Now, I've kept my calories pretty high from that first week where I lost nearly 10 pounds. So let's see what I've been eating. Mm. Now let's see what we've been eating. Now, when I'm at work, it's not very exciting, I'll tell no, you that. No, it's not. No, it's not. So let's have a look. So basically, for lunch, let's not confuse things. For lunch, it's just three boiled eggs, a tin of tuna fish, and I'll either have a cottage cheese or a quark. If nobody knows what quark is, you'll find it in the cheese aisle. The soft cheese aisle. The aisle. soft cheese aisle, yeah. Basically, it's what goes into fat-free cheesecakes, basically. And then, on an afternoon, about three-ish, I'll treat myself to some nuts. Obviously, be careful of the nuts, because they're very high in calories. About 320 calories, just for a little, little bag of those. About 50 grams. Plenty of water during the day. Plenty of water. That is big key, plenty of water. Now, because I'm training tonight, I will be having two scoops of vanilla whey protein, decent spoonful of peanut butter in there, and there's some sugar-free syrup drizzled on the top. You're pulling a face here, love. You're pulling a face for it. It tastes better than it looks, believe you me. That's, that's pre-workout meal. If I wasn't working out, I would have a, another cottage cheese. Not very exciting. If I'm at home, Obviously, I'd rather do like an omelette with the tuna fish and the eggs with a little bit of salad. But seeing as I'm at work, it can be a little bit restrictive. Now, the best thing is the post-workout meal. I'll show you that, obviously, after I've trained. I'll see you there. So, it's a post-workout meal now. And during the workout, I did have four or five pieces of Haribo Tantastics. Quick tip. When you're doing this diet, you might feel a bit light-headed light or a bit, bit crappy when you come to a workout. So about halfway through, have a, something sugary like that, Haribo, Tantastics. Highly recommended. So the last meal of the day, it's a quick one, is 400 grams of chicken, which is about 14 ounces, 15 ounces, packet rice, mixed in with... You're going to get it from Aldi, always from Aldi. The curried lentils, highly recommended. So in that meal we've got around, let's have a quick shifty, quick calculation, about 120 grams of carbs. And I've probably had about 40 grams of carbs with the Tantastics during training. So around 170, 180 grams of carbs in the last sort of, well it's going to be for the last hour or so of the day. With this diet I'm incorporating intermittent fasting as well so the first meal was about half past one, last meal it's mm, about quarter to ten. So it's about just over an eight hour eating window. So I'm going to get this down my neck so on that note, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and what else babe? Leave a comment. Leave a comment, and I'll catch you later.